the more patience you can have, uh, the better the results are going to be. Because this journey is about enjoying the journey. Being present in the moment and enjoying the journey and not getting frustrated that you are not where you want to be yet. Because you will get there. Good morning and thanks to all of you new subscribers. I am super excited because by the time that the, you guys are seeing this, I'm pretty confident that there's going to be 85 thousand subscribers on the channel so welcome everybody and uh, thank you for being part of the bond squad and my entrepreneurial interior design journey nice to have you headed into the office today after a long weekend and I have to tell you guys I feel like a million bucks today I feel really good it's kind of nice to let yourself just rest every once in a while So it's a beautiful day in Vancouver. It is getting towards the end of May already. And by the time you guys see this, it'll be the beginning of June, I'm sure. <sighs> Which means that we're fully into spring summer style. You guys always ask me about my clothing, so I feel like I should tell you guys where it comes from. This sort of mustard yellow 80s inspired blazer from Maritzia. And then I have paired it with a pair of white pants uh some white chloe loafers i'm really into the loafer and this green mustardy tank which is from zara i think my style now is really rooted in quality and comfort and i like things that aren't fussy but that are chic and that look good, that feel good, and that are a little bit different and unique. Six weeks. So I know that we've painted the picture before, but we'll just do it again. I feel like if we leave it all to the end, it's going to be a massive yeah. undertaking. We box up some of our books and they just go to the office. It can kind of be a slow trickle out. Mm -hmm. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. yeah. Friday, maybe the 28th, is the move day. So we'll do our photos. <laughs> Move. We'll have all of our makeup on, we'll move, <laughs> and then we'll do Champagne Friday after. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Every time you reach a new level, that level demands a different you. You're always growing and you're always evolving and that's one of the things that I love so much about business and entrepreneurship and design, doing something creative. And I've been able to attract a team that is super adaptable, super talented, super smart, super confident and that also want to grow and that's a really, really fun environment to work in. I've really come to love collaborating with other people for design. That's why I love working with Karina so much and Catalina and Paula and Vanessa and everybody on the team. I think that design is so much better when it is uh, a collaboration and not just a solo sport. So. I think that's been a really good evolution and learning how to collaborate with people and learning how to pull people in and really approaching interior design without any ego. That's definitely something that I've learned too. I really think about other people in what I do. It's not just about me 
climbing and getting to the top, but it's everybody else also climbing and moving up. And that's really fun. That's really cool. It's true. It's true, right? Yeah. It's growth for everybody. Another note about style, I am back in the Buick, a 2019 Buick Encore. And as a designer, I mean, you guys have been hearing me talk about style and summer style and how important that is to me. I love the leather interior, sort of this camel brown color, which is really hot. I don't know, maybe I like it because it's almost one of my favorite colors for leather furniture right now. So I kind of like that I have it in my car. And I think that the brown leather goes really, really well with the black interior. It just feels like I'm driving around in luxury and I really like it. I'm headed over to the new office. So I'm just gonna do a little scout and uh, show you guys the new office because I'm gonna to put together episode one of the new season of Bonafide, which is the office edition. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. And also, I just wanted to mention to you guys that I have been noticing, well actually, there's been a flood of comments coming in through both YouTube and Instagram. Um, just that you've been really loving my channel and that you find it inspiring and that you've been loving watching a woman in business do her thing. And I'm so thrilled and happy to hear that you guys are really responding and connecting to the channel. So thank you. Peace to the new office surreal that I actually have signed the lease and I have keys and I'm going in there right now and I guess I say that because I had been looking for new office space for so long so it feels totally surreal that it's actually happening fun fact for you guys so this is my third office period and also my third office that's on Pender Street <laughs> My second office was Pender and Hornby, and now my office is Pender and Maine. I don't know. Three times a charm, I guess. <laughs> oh, it works. Love the floors. This is so great. Cool. It's crazy to think this is gonna be your new office. Welcome to my new office. Ready? Welcome to my new office. That's it. Okay, we're done. We are going to cut here. Okay, day two of my vlog. So, if you guys want to watch the office space, you guys are going to have to watch episode one of Bonafide, the office edition. And I'm headed into the office to meet with a client for a design meeting. So you guys are coming with me. We're so excited, and the team's been doing such a great job. All right, let's just jump right in. All right. I would prefer if we could do a color that doesn't have the green undertone. Like okay. That, like mm -hmm. more towards the blue or the, or the gray side. Blue or gray, yeah. Because this is a sample for the wallpaper in the dining room, right? Oh, that's really nice. Isn't okay, well then maybe that might be. <laughs> Isn't that nice? That's really nice. So dining room, wallpaper, painted ceilings, mm -hmm. and then it's about furniture, so tables yeah. and chairs. So. We found this great light fixture. I know. Okay, let's show you these. <laughs> this the, is a dream. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I know what that means. This, this is the dream. Okay. So we're suggesting a large fixture like this in your foyer. That's pretty cool. 
It is very cool. Yeah, I love it. This scale is really nice. It's 33 inches wide, okay. which is great. 33 high, mm -hmm. um, and then it has a hanging height of 62, so we can modify that. Mm -hmm. We're just suggesting. Okay. You can come back to us and say that you want to scale down. Okay. So don't worry, or scale up. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you, you want. want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we did find this fixture for your dining room. Hmm. Not in love? I don't know. I've never really gone for that style. Like, it seems so old school to me, but oh. um, I don't know. You guys like it for the dining room? Yes, because, love it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I think um, the way your dining room is coming together is that it's so, like, lush and royal and you've got kind of okay. these gem tones okay or sorry the jewel tones like the deep blue and green and then there's something about this fixture that is clean okay but it it has almost like a regal yeah okay yeah <laughs> look to it for, yes. to that. yeah, yeah. yeah. that's and what i'm thinking like when i think of this i'm thinking like old castle type yes yeah. exactly okay. so for your formal dining room mm -hmm. I think it would be beautiful. So again, you can kind of sleep on it and think about it. Well, I'm trying to be open. open-minded. Yeah, because I have no clue what I'm doing when it comes to this. This is why I have you guys here. <laughs> what I like about what's happening right now is as soon as you come into your house, like if you were going for a fixture like this, you've got this big brass and glass, yeah. very modern fixture yeah. right in the middle. And then you look left or you look right. And both of the rooms are like dramatic. They're blue. They're okay. sort of like cozy yeah. and then you have some sparkle above the table like your wallpaper the blue fabric a little bit of sparkle mm -hmm. and then some kind of wood it doesn't have to be okay. this rustic i can see how like, this plays into this, this now so yeah. nice i love that wood. yeah everything is super warm and mm -hmm. like it's gonna look so good yeah, it's, gonna it's gonna look gonna so different. Yeah. different yeah Entrepreneurship is not necessarily just about the hours that you're putting in and the time and the risk and the sacrifice. Sometimes you see or hear these success stories where um, there is quick success or overnight success or like in the tech world where there's huge investment and then the company booms from five people to 50 people overnight. Sure, that happens, but for the majority of businesses, there's a lot of hard work, a lot of grief, a lot of pain, a lot of sacrifice, um, a lot of long hours, and a ton of commitment and perseverance to grow it and build it. So me reminding you guys that seems to really be resonating with you. And I'm happy that it is because things don't happen quickly. Things, um, things take time, but that's not a bad thing. Patience is really a virtue. The more patience you can have, uh, the better the results are going to be. Because this journey is about enjoying the journey. Being present in the moment and enjoying the journey and not getting frustrated that you are not where you wanna be yet. Because you will get there. This morning, I am just pulling into our McCleary and McGee project, one of my favorite residential projects. You guys have seen lots of photos on my Instagram and on the House of Bond Instagram. I'm doing a really fun photo shoot for Dee Morelli, a skincare company um, that's here local in Vancouver. I really love them. I've been working with them for a really long time and using their product for a really long time. And I'm filming a project tours for you guys, so you'll get to see uh, a video tour definitely of the kitchen over at McCleary McGee and if I can squeeze it in we might show you guys the master bathroom too so that's what's on the agenda for this morning
Now, I have to make a call with a client in 11 minutes. Now, because this is just a show home, there isn't Wi-Fi in the show home because no one actually lives there. But these Buicks do have Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna test this out. Hopefully I can download my proposal and I'm gonna do the call from the car. Talk about being convenient. I am at the Medical Rejuvenation Center getting a facial done. I've been noticing that there's been some bumps showing up on my skin that I kind of want to smooth out. So I'm here doing a micro needling treatment. I've done it once here before, but I know you have to like keep coming back in order yeah. to really benefit from the results. Yeah. Typically about three at about four to six weeks. And then afterwards you basically want to maintain. Right. Once a year at least. So I just wiped all the foundation off. The numbing cream has been applied. It feels like slightly tingly, slightly cool, but mm -hmm. that's it. That's it? Okay. Yeah. And then I just get to sit here for half an hour? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> you get oh, some time I'm so to yourself. excited. Finally, right? <laughs> busy, busy, busy wait for my face to be completely numb and then they are going to do the treatment. So I'm just enjoying the beautiful view outside my window right now. I got that numbing cream. It kind of like seeps into your lips. Yeah. So like my lips here, feel yeah. so frozen yeah. right now. <laughs> so the micro needling, how does that help with the clogged pores? Basically if they're okay. superficial, it almost like breaks them down, right? And then when your skin gets injured, um, it basically starts your own healing system mm -hmm. and you get new cells regenerating. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like pushing all those bad dead cells, getting right. new cells coming right. to the surface. Oh, it's normal that she's Definitely. bleeding? Oh yeah. Definitely we want a little bit of pinpoint bleeding because we know that we're actually infusing the hyaluronic acid deep into our skin. It's good in this case we want the bleeding yeah <laughs> totally some areas where it's like a little bit more like bonier it does go in a bit deeper so then you notice a bit of bleeding it's like pinpoint bleeding almost mm -hmm. everywhere but some areas are gonna bleed a little more than others not bad at all no it's like a little bit sore in the forehead but cheeks and stuff like that are totally fine yeah well i don't know if i look at yet but i feel fresh <laughs> <laughs> Glowy, a little Good. bit, but glowy. <laughs> Just a little bit of blood all over my face. <laughs> totally fine. Totally normal. <laughs> I'll look at the calendar and then book in again for four to six weeks. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thank you. Are you like going to go back to the office like this? It's a blood red. Is it? Yeah. Well? Keeping it real, real authentic and genuine. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> calendar for so long and I didn't want to move it because I leave tomorrow. It's like, oh, I'll just go. And then I was like, yeah, you don't even notice my face. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping it'll calm down a little soon. Hi. I know. <laughs> I went for a facial micro needling. So it will it will go down but my face is still like totally numb from the numbing cream oh, yeah. so i feel like i can't move my lips properly <laughs> <laughs> so if i talk with a lisp <laughs> you'll know why yeah.
Okay, everyone, so it's the end of the day. I can't wait to go home and put some moisturizer on my face. It's feeling a little tight. A little tight. Before I do that, I'm just pointing out, look at how clean my desk looks. I just cleaned it, wiped it, packed up a whole bunch of stuff, and you guys know why, because the office move is coming up very shortly. I actually have to make room for someone new who's joining the team. They need to sit somewhere, so apparently I don't have a desk anymore. You know you need to move when. <laughs> So I want to finish up this vlog with a question for you guys, and this is a question pertaining to style. I would love to know from you guys about your own personal style choices, and when you're making a purchase, or when you think about style, what is the most important thing to you? Three options, okay? Is it comfort? Is it design, looks, so the aesthetic? Or is it quality so comfort design quality let me know in the comments below I can't wait to see what you guys say I always love reading your comments I love hearing from you guys one last thing before I leave the office all of the ladies up in here got into the cookie jar <laughs> this is what the front of the card says YouTube subscriber thanks for all the inspiration you're making a difference thank you so much Duval Reynolds for the box of cookies. This is amazing and they were delicious, clearly, because this was a box of 36 cookies and there's only five left. So yeah, we got in here. <laughs> I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Good night. Slathering immediately. <laughs> I do a zoom. <laughs> do I look a little red? Do I look a little red? A little bit red? The camera thinks you look great, hey? <laughs>